Hey boys and girls, it's math time. Okay, so today is gonna be our final day reviewing money and then next week we're gonna continue moving on with different math skills. How exciting. Okay, so today for money, what I wanna do with you is I wanna review all of our coins that we learned and then we're gonna maybe practice counting some coins in Ms. Bowden's wallet. Ms. Bowden doesn't have many coins in there I'm not even sure I have an entire dollar. We're gonna have to count to see what I have. But let's review some of our coins with our chart, okay? So we know a penny is worth one cent, a nickel is worth five cents, a dime is worth 10 cents, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. Okay, let's go back and let's look at some of these coins and you can tell me which ones each. I'm gonna show you a coin. You gotta tell me which one it is. Ready, go. <gasps> yeah, that's an easy one. That's a penny. Okay, here we go. Ready, look at it closely. Let me show you the back. I think you got it. Yeah, that one's the dime worth 10 cents. Very good. All right, ready? Next coin, ha ha ha, that's an easy one to recognize because it's the biggest one so far we learned. That's our quarter. And our last one. Third president, there's a house. That's his nickel, five cents. All right. So we've got our different coins that we learned. We learned how much they are. Now, when we go to count our coins, Ms. Bowden said, let's start counting at the biggest amount first. But, hmm, I notice I have some quarters. Let's practice counting quarters first before we move on. Who remembers how much is one quarter worth? 25 cents, very good. Okay, here's a tricky one, think about this. How much is two quarters worth? I'm gonna get my chart back out so you can see. Two quarters is worth 50 cents. So we go 25, 50, 75 a dollar. 25, 50, 75 a dollar. 25, 50, 75 a dollar. So one quarter's worth 25 cents. Two quarters worth 50 cents. How much is three quarters worth? 75 cents and four quarters is worth one dollar. Very good. All right, let's sing our song one more time. 25, 50, 75 a dollar. 25, 50, 75 a dollar. Good job. Okay, I think you're ready to count Ms. Bowden's coins that are in her wallet. All right, let's see. I have a spread. I'm gonna mix them up so we can first start it out how we're gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera and I'm gonna hold it like this so we can see some of our coins. All right, they're all mixed up. So the first thing I like to do is separate the coins. So let's separate the coins by their types. So I moved my quarters by themselves I moved my pennies by a group. I moved my dime and my nickel. This is all the money Miss Bowden has in her wallet. Not much money. Okay, so let's see. There we go, now we're sideways. Okay, let's start counting. So our biggest coin first. What is our biggest coin going to be? The nickel, the dime, the penny, or the quarter? When I say biggest, I mean worth the most amount. Very good, the quarters. Let's count the quarters first. Ready? 25, 50, 75. Oh, do I have the fourth one to make a dollar? Nope. So how much do I have right here? 25, 50, 75 cents. Okay, I got 75 cents. What's my next biggest coin? What's the coin that's worth the most? The dime, okay, that's 10 cents. What is 10 cents more 
then 75 cents. 75 plus 10 makes 85. Very good, 75, 85. Okay, let's go to the next coin, penny or nickel. Very good, nickel, because that's worth five cents. So I have 25, 50, 75, 85. 85 plus five, 90, very good. Then we move on to our pennies. 91, 92, 93, 94. Miss Bowden has 94 cents in her wallet. Very good guys, counting with me. I hope you were able to count that going along with Miss Bowden. Okay, so I have 94 cents, but do you see how we like to count? We start with the biggest coin first. I separate them all, I start with the biggest coin. It makes it so much easier to count the same amount of coins together. So you continue counting in that same pattern. All right, here are gonna be your money worksheets for today. Today I'm gonna give you another money game. You can play this game with your mommy, you can play it with your brother or your sister, with your daddy, with yourself even. Make up your own rules, remember? But the directions are at the top of this page and it tells you to roll the die and then you have to collect that coin. So whatever space you land on, you collect that coin and then you add it all up at the end and see who's got the most amount of change. Pretty cool. So here's Chirps Change, a cool little game I'm gonna send to you guys. Another fun math game that you're able to play at home. Okay, the next worksheet I'm gonna give you is you have to make, just like we counted Miss Bowden's change in her wallet, you're gonna have to make a certain amount by coloring in the coins that match that amount. So we've got 53 cents. So you have to tell me how can you make 53 cents by coloring only the coins that equal up to 53 cents. So you can do it in multiple ways. There is no wrong answer, just as long as when you go ahead and you count those coins, it equals 53 cents. Maybe what I would do first is I would go ahead and get real money out and count it using real money and see if you can make it before you color it in. So each one has got two quarters, two dimes, four nickels, and six pennies. So what I would do is I would get that amount of money out if you have it in your house, and then I would rearrange it in front of you to try to make 53 cents, and then you can go ahead and color it in. Or you can just rearrange it and look at the number and try it out that way and not even print out the worksheet. Totally up to you. Okay, your next practice has to deal with that alligator's mouth. So what we're doing is we're taking the coins that we learned and we're comparing the coin to see which one is bigger and which one the alligator's mouth is going to eat. So it's not just one coin, it's going to be amounts of coins. So you've got a little piggy bank on each side and you have different coins or different amounts of coins on each side. So what Ms. Bodo would like you to do is to write the amount that each piggy bank is worth on each piggy or underneath it, and then you can go ahead and put your alligator's mouth to determine which side is bigger and which piggy bank is worth more. So now we're just comparing those coins. Okay, and then the last thing Ms. Bowden's giving you, since I know I didn't come on yesterday and yesterday was supposed to be your day two of your math, well today, even though it's Friday, I'm giving you day three, and on that is gonna be day four, which is for Monday's math. So you only have to do day three today. But I wanted to explain to you on your day three homework. This chart right here, it's crazy, but it says fill in the missing numbers by adding. So what they want you to do is you see these numbers on the side and these numbers, they want you to take the first one, seven plus four and put the answer in the first box. Seven plus five, put your answer right there. Seven plus six, put your answer right there. So when you come all the way to the nine, it's nine plus five, and that gave me 14. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of matching up to where it hits 
and that's where I'm gonna put my answer there. Other than that, everything else is kind of self-explanatory for you to do for your homework. All right, enjoy counting money. Maybe tell me how much you guys have in your piggy bank. Count up and see. See you later for reading.